All right, so we're going to be taking a look at Pop Player today. This is a free video player for Windows. Pop Player will play pretty much any video file you throw at it, along with audio and image files. Not only that, but it can screen content online and from various physical media such as CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays. Other features include stuff like hardware acceleration, subtitle support, built-in video recorder, playlist manager, and support for bookmarking or chapter markers. So let's check it out. So Pop Player's interface is pretty simple, and you can just drag files directly into the player to start playing them. It will auto resize by default to the size of the video, and it will add similar files into the playlist here on the right. If you don't like the auto resize, you can go to Preferences, Settings, and set the default window size to Do Not Use. And if you don't want it to add similar files into the playlist, you can go to Playback Playlist and uncheck Auto Add Similar Files and Folder. Anyway, so you've got your basic controls at the bottom here, along with the seek bar, your playlist manager on the right, and if you look down here, you've got some buttons for 360 and 3D. It supports playing those type of video files as well. And my favorite thing about Pop Player is how easy it is to add to the playlist. So when you're playing a file, you can drag another file at the very top, and instead of playing it immediately, it'll simply add it to the playlist, so it'll play it right after your current video. Another nice thing at the bottom here is you can switch between software and hardware rendering just by clicking on the SW or HW if you see it. And here where it says 2.0, you can click that and it'll show you the different audio channels. And if you click on a little cog icon down here, it'll bring up this little window where you can customize the EQ, adjust the video quality, which is a bit aggressive. So you want to be very conservative changing this. Set the position of subtitles along with the subtitle speed and control playback speed. This last little icon brings up and hides the playlist or browser panel. And in this browser, you can search for files to play along with showing chapter bookmarks. So you can jump straight to a part of the video you want to play. You can control subtitles and there are a lot of subtitle options in Pop Player. You can also translate audio and save them as subtitle files. And they can grab these subtitles from sources such as Google Translate. Let's say you're playing a list of videos or audio in this playlist and you want to save it. You could just right click into the playlist area and go to playlist, save playlist as. And you can save it out as a pop player based playlist, which has its own set of features included with it, as well as regular playlist files, win at playlists, and save it out. So I've got this DPL file here. And if I click it, it immediately opens up to the playlist right from where I left off. And of course, if you make any changes, close the player, open it back up, your changes will be saved. Another nice thing about the playlist manager, in this playlist panel, if you right click and view as, you can set how to view the list of files. So by default, it's set as a list, but you can show thumbnails and set the size of these thumbnails to large, small. And if you go to Playlist settings in this context menu, you can choose what information to display next to the thumbnails. Like if you don't want to see the number in the playlist or the duration, you can show height the extension, set the sort, font size. Like mentioned earlier, subtitles are supported. And if you go to browser subtitles, you can view the text and jump to a portion of the video just by clicking on a subtitle. And if you click on the little menu icon, it brings up all the subtitle options. One of the things I really like about this is if you use the mouse wheel, you can scroll through all the various subtitles built into the video or simply go to the add select subtitles and choose from whichever subtitle exists. Pop player can generate subtitles for videos that do not have subtitles using AI and various search services like Google Translate. I think this feature is new. I'm not sure. I just recently discovered it and I only ever got the Google Translate option to work, which is really terrible. But I did find a ChatGPT extension that works incredibly well for generating subtitles and translating audio. If you right click and go to audio, select audio stream and you can choose between any available audio channels to play from. One of my favorite features of Pop Player is the bookmarking feature. You can do this either by pressing the H key, and this will bring up the bookmarks context menu where you can add a bookmark, or simply press the P key. Then you can go to browser, and under scenes, marker bookmarks, you should see your bookmarks. And you will see it down here 
in the seek bar. You can just click on the bookmark and you're jumped right to that portion of the video. In the bookmarks context menu, you can go to edit bookmarks where you can give your bookmarks names, delete them, add more, and so on. Here's another one. If you go to preferences, playback, and check show thumbnail previews in the nav bar and hover over the seek bar, you will see thumbnail previews. Pop player makes it really easy to take screenshots of whatever you're watching. Simply press the K button. You can take a screenshot of the source frame, which will be the native resolution of the video or the current frame, which will be based on the current window size. So we'll take one of the source frame. And this is a 4K video. So the resolution of this image is 4K. And if we take one of the current screen frame, we get that same image, but it's based on the actual size of the window. In addition, you can save out as various formats, PNG, WebP, bitmap, and you can take consecutive images, set a prefix, set output format, quality, and the amount of frames you want to take. In this case, I'll take about 20 from this position, start. And now when I play the video, it'll capture those screenshots. And just as easily, I've got snippets of that scene. Pop player can also take thumbnail sheets. If you press alt in, you can drag files into this window here, set where you want to save, set the number of columns and rows, choose which information to display, and then hit okay. And what this did is take, in this case, a four by four thumbnail sheet, which includes information about the resolution, codec, duration, As mentioned earlier, Pop Player will play pretty much anything you throw at it. If you go to open in the Pop Player menu, you can choose to open screen capture, record from a webcam or camera, analog video, DVDs, Blu-rays. And in this example, I'll open up the webcam capture. You can also open up the device settings by pressing Alt D and you can configure your screen capture settings, your webcam, digital TV settings. For webcam, I'll set to my Elgato set your audio options, resolution, and hit open device. If your device has additional options, it'll pop up here. And now I got what's being displayed on my laptop. If you want to do screen capture, you can open up that same menu by Alt D, go to screen capture, set whether you want to record a fixed area, specific window, recording resolution. And then it pops up this little window where you can drag and select which area of the desktop you want to record or capture. With Pop Player, you can stream online content. Go to the menu and go to open and open URL. Paste in the URL, hit OK, and Pop Player will begin streaming that file. It is possible to stream video from sites like Twitch. You can be able to open up a URL, paste in that Twitch link, hit OK, and it begins playing the stream where I can set the resolution. Now, Pop Player doesn't natively support Twitch links. This is an extension that I installed, but it's just to demonstrate that it is possible to play Twitch and Pop Player. What you will discover very quickly when streaming content online, Pop Player is that the quality is vastly superior than watching in the browser. Here I have the stream open in Florp and I have the stream open in Pop Player. If I look at my memory here, you can see that Florp it's using almost a gig, whereas Pop Player with the same stream open is only using about 250 megs. Not only will the quality be better in Pop Player, you'll be using less resources on your system. So that you don't always have to copy and paste the URL in Pop Player to open videos online, I recommend getting the Pop Player extensions available in Firefox and Chrome. And this extension will add buttons below the video player, allowing you to easily open the links in Pop Player or by clicking on the mouse buttons and opening that video link in Pop Player and adding the video to your current playlist. Easily one of the best features in Pop Player is the built-in recorder. If you press Alt-C, it brings up the video recorder. You can select various formats to output as. You got MKV, AVI, WebM, and you can even record as animated GIF or WebP. 
Unfortunately, there is no saving as H.265 in the newer AV1. So your bitrate compression, output size, FPS up to 60, how to key aspect ratio. You can choose to record audio in what format that audio should be. Start playing a video, bring up the recorder and start recording. It'll show you the recording time along with the output size. Video is done. I got it here on a desktop. I can open it up in pop player itself. And here is that recording. Pop player supports skinning. So if you go to the menu, view skins you've got a variety of options for your current skin and if you go to skin settings you can select your current skin change the display of the context menus set the transparency and various other things one key option you might find helpful is to slim down the context menu by switching to the simple pop-up menu gets rid of a lot of the clutter in the context menu anyway to add a skin you'll need to download one online Here's a website that has various pop player skins available for download. Here's one that I like, so I'll download that one. Open it up. And in pop player, you want to open up the skins folder. You want to drag the DSF files into that folder. Tell pop player to rescan skins and select your new skin takes effect immediately. And now we have a nicer looking pop player. Now, what I recommend you do after you switch skins is to restart pop player to make sure that all the menus and stuff adjust. By the way, if you want pop player to look dark like this, I'm not using a skin. I just modified the default skin. You can go to preferences under advanced skins, click on set custom color theme and set your HSB values to whatever you want and set the RGB values to negative 50. This will give you a nice looking darker default skin. Pop player allows you to have custom keyboard shortcuts and mouse controls. And with these mouse controls, you can control every aspect of pop player. For example, with the double click, you've got all of these options or you can do a custom option and you can just, I mean, you can just really go in here and add any command my favorite is taking a screenshot when double right clicking. So if you're the type of person who loves to use keyboard shortcuts, Pop Player has got you covered. All right, let's talk about the pros and cons of Pop Player. My biggest gripe with the program is these context menus. There is so much going on in this program that it gets overwhelming trying to deal with these menus, trying to find what settings you want to get to quickly. But again, trimming down the context menu design so the simple pop-up menu does help a little bit. While it can record video, it does not have a built-in media converter. My player is fairly light on resources, but it's not nearly as responsive to open new files like a program like VLC. Players like VLC will open files near instantaneously. It takes a couple of seconds for a pop player to get going. But it's got a dark theme by default, which is the main reason why I switched to it from VLC. I like that it supports every video format out, so you never have to worry about, oh, is it going to play this or is it going to play that? Yes, it'll play it. And how easy it is to take screenshots. So that's Pop Player for Windows. Check it out.